Hey guys, it's Kitty, or otherwise known as Film Daisy from Instagram, and today's video is going to be about how to add in pieces of hair or like legs and stuff. See, here I took different photos um, to add on to this one, and um, I'm just going to show you how I do that because I've been getting a couple requests about it. So, first I'm going to start off with the original picture. It's just me doing some weird thing with my hands. Um, I decided to make it into a levitation photo and stuff, so, yeah, um, I didn't take any expansion pieces for this one, so I think I'm just gonna expand it using a clone tool, but that's okay, so I'm just gonna show you how to do this, um, so take the piece you want to, um, add onto it first, and I think I'm gonna do the hair first, and you're gonna take the lasso tool, which is the third one down, and you're just gonna select the area in which you want to add and after you do that you're going to go to edit and copy or you can press command C if you know what the buttons do. I can't do that. I don't know why. Um, then you're going to paste it onto the photo and you're going to drag it to where you want it to go um, I recommend going, setting the opacity to 50 like you do, oh, wow, I am so cool, I set it exactly to 50, um, just like in the expansion, I would definitely, um, do this, so kind of match it up so you don't have to erase weird parts and have part of your face in it, um, this one's kind of hard because I'm facing different ways, so let's see how this turns out. <laughs> um, I'm going to set my brush size a little bit. Um, oh yeah, just like the expansion, you're going to make a layer mask. So that's what I did just there. And I'm going to take the brush tool and I'm going to set the brush size a little bit smaller. Like, a lot smaller actually. And you're going to set it from black to white like in the expansion. and you're just going to erase it. I think I have to make this bigger because this is really annoying the crap out of me. And my computer is also extremely slow today for some unknown reason. So I am just going to erase parts of it that need to be erased. And this is actually going to be super difficult because I just realized that my neck is retarded. And that's going to be super fun to fix. Uh huh. This looks interesting. Let's, let's fix this. Okay, I'm gonna just keep my neck, I guess, right here. My head's gonna be taller than the rest of my body. Um, that doesn't look weird at all. I'm gonna try to match my choker. There we go. See, that doesn't look that bad. And now you see how to add in hair and stuff. That's how, usually how I had in my hair. Um, this looks kind of dumb right here. Oh, okay. Like, see, there's a line there. Why is my computer being so slow? This is annoying the crap out of me. Don't do this to me right now. Um, it's also really good to erase parts that need to be erased. Because my hair isn't green up here, obviously. And, yeah, it's kind of weird because my hair is right here, but I guess, like, it doesn't really matter. It looks less noticeable than if it were right here, like, in front of my body. That's why I purposely put it behind me, but, um, now I'm going to add on the legs. This part is kind of difficult if you're not that good at Photoshop. Um, I use the band-aid tool, but I'm going to probably use the clone tool, to, tool today because I feel like it'll be easier. So I'm going to select the background and I'm just going to right click and duplicate the layer. Okay, I don't know why I just did that. And I'm just going to name it Feet Clone, apparently. Press OK. Um, then you're going to take the clone tool, which looks like a stamp, and you're going to press Alt Option to make a little target and Click where you want to um, drag it over, and I'm just going to remove my legs. 
because I feel like it. And then same with the grass. Um, I'm just going to drag this over. I have no idea why my computer is acting really dumb today. It just is. I'm making another video right now, so I guess it's just like being slow. Um, when you're up close, it looks a lot worse, I feel like. Like, you can see all the little mistakes, but from far away, it doesn't look that bad. Uh, so, I finished cloning that part. So, now I'm just going to grab my legs that I need to add on, and I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the hair. I'm just going to grab the lasso tool and select the area that needs to be selected, and also grab on part of the skirt, too, so you can make the skirt all flowy like it is in this picture, because I don't think you want your leg to look weird, I guess. Um, so you're just going to move it to where it needs to go, and I don't actually have to do that much editing. Wow. Proud. Um, I just have to erase parts of the lines that shouldn't be there, and I'm good. So I'm just going to add a layer mask again, and take the um, brush tool, and just erase all the lines like we did with the hair and it looks kind of stupid like up close but because you can see like the different lines that shouldn't be there I am probably either going to fix it or I'm just going to leave it as it is I don't know yet I we will see and I just shipped off part of my shoe okay let's see if it looks better up higher to make it look less weird. Um, because you can see part of the dress underneath. I think I'm just gonna leave it like this. It's not that big of a deal, in my opinion. Um, looks kind of like I'm getting blown away. I like this one. Good job. And now I'm just gonna do that with the other leg too, because whoa, it looks like my butt is huge. That's so weird. Okay, sorry guys. Um, that happens sometimes where my butt looks like it's the size of um. Africa, but it's just the dress, guys. My butt is actually not that big. Um, so I'm going to add the other leg, and I might have to rotate it if it looks weird. See, like, look. It's so weird. Okay. Um, this part's kind of tricky, too, because you need to, like, erase parts of it. I think I'm going to make it underneath this leg, because it'll look better. It actually depends, but um, I'm just going to erase parts that shouldn't be there, make my butt look less big, probably. Um, just gonna erase parts that shouldn't be there. Oh, I just realized I probably shouldn't erase that because this is right here. Because we don't want that. Okay, um, this is kind of like a back and forth process where you want to like erase parts underneath from the first layer that you did with the feet from the second, and voila! Wait, hold on. Oh, I thought that looked weird. Okay, and then you can check and see which way you like better. I kind of have to fix this, but oh, alright. Make sure you're always on the layer mask, by the way, because then you're going to like draw with like the actual brush tool, and that is not a good idea if I were you. Um, so I don't know whether or not if I like um, which side I like better. Maybe I'll go with this side, but maybe I won't. Um, I think I like this side better. Yeah, I definitely like this side better. It just depends on like your personal preference. I think that side looks better. Um, so this is pretty much how you add stuff, guys. I just taught you something. And I think after this, I'm just going to adjust the colors, and maybe, maybe I'm going to expand it using my clone tool, but I'm not quite sure yet. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope I taught you something. Please like if you like this video and comment down below more video ideas you want me to do or if this was helpful so I can make more. 
Um, also comment down below any other tutorials you want me to teach you how to do with Photoshop. And yeah, also subscribe because I love subscribers. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Bye. Whoa, my voice just cracked. Okay. Um, thank you guys for watching. I love you all. Bye.